So today, I bring you something exclusive from Christie's New York, the powerful art auction house. Um, today, I'm bringing you one of a kind. It's Paul G. Allen's collection. It's called The Visionary. Paul G. Allen is a co-founder of Microsoft. And this collection includes more than 150 masterpieces spanning 500 years of art history. This is something that everybody must see. This is mind-blowing. The value of this art collection is about $1 billion, uh, which includes groundbreaking artists like you know, Paul Cezanne, David Hockney, George Serrat, Jasper Jones, Basquiat, um, Andy Warhol, Picasso, Monet, Renoir. This is um, mind blowing. And all these proceeds will go to a philanthropy that he wants to donate to. All right, so. Let's embark on this journey. I'll be telling you more about some of the art there, the, the prizes, and um, the artists. So stay tuned. Follow me on this journey. This is incredible. This is exclusive for my followers. This is from Christie's One of a Kind private collection. Probably the most expensive private collection ever. Or the most expensive private auction ever. So join me. This is the bridge over the Cartesian Gap by Mactancy. He is known for presenting complex ideas from history, literature, or philosophy. This is a huge stone bridge with figures traversing across it. My favorite out of all display, this is David Hockney's Winter Timber, going for $10 million to $15 million. This is like 20 feet across, and this depicts a Yorkshire landscape with vertical trees and delicate branches. Also, this is Wayne Thibault's Cafe Cart. Look at this art, very colorful, huge. There's another art by I think it's San Francis in for twenty thousand three hundred thousand dollars. All right now we'll make our way across the room or across the hall as we look at other beautiful art on display. I can tell you all the art here at least you know you catch a glimpse of some of the beautiful artists Arts and sculptures on display. This is Franco Buck. First century room. This art, this is Sugar Ray Robinson by Basquiat. This is the Farina by Basquiat. And this is Keith Haring. This is going for four million dollars to six mil. 
So far we know it's like 10 million to 12 mil. This one. All right, and we'll make our way. This is an art by Rashid Johnson, an African-American artist. Probably surprising about $600. Thousand dollars, and this is Gerard Richter going for a meal. And this beautiful art here is by Christopher Wu. It's been priced between eight million to twelve million dollars. Very beautiful art. This is Richard Prince. All I have had going for three mil to five mil. This beautiful art is by Jedica Akuni Crosby. The beautiful ones going for four mil to six mil. This is the work of Jeffrey Coons, an American artist who is known for sculptures depicting everyday objects in stainless steel with mirror finished surfaces. This is called the JB Turner Train. Coming up next is a date painting by On Kawara, a Japanese artist who lived in New York City in 1965. It depicts the date that this art was created. Look at this. Which artist is it? Let's go find out. Who's that? Charles Ray. Okay. Revolution, counter revolution. The next art coming up looks like a combination of Andy Warhol and his friend um, Jean Basquiat. It's half Keep Frozen. So I think the Keep Frozen part is the one by Basquiat and, and the half is by Andy Warhol. Whoa, I think I'm showing you. All right, it's going for two million to three million dollars. I mean, we've seen a couple of Basquiat's prior to that. This this looks like a Shara Hughes um, art. I'm not sure, but it looks like it. All right, so we'll make, we'll make our way. We we'll show you more art. It's the 21st century highlights. This is one man's private collection worth about one billion dollars. Paul G. Allen. This collection is called Visionary. the old old collection with that Picasso, right?
Now this colorful painted circle here is Sandro Botticelli's Madonna of the Magnificat. This is Madonna and the Child with Three Angels by Sandro Botticelli, painted in 1483. Coming along is American artist Jasper Jones. This is gorgeous painting here. Look at the price. 45 million, 65 million dollars. This is mind blowing it. I just can't wrap my mind around it, but like I said, it's rare. So the price goes up. Always bear in mind that art is an investment for the wealthy people because the price always appreciates. This artist coming up is Paul Gauguin or Paul Gauguin who is a French post-impression artist who is known for using vibrant colors. The picture here that you see portrays Tahitian ladies um, breastfeeding. This beautiful sculpture here is by Barbara Hepworth who specializes in modern sculptures. Right, and she's part of the few artists who resided in St. Ives during the Second World War. This masterpiece here is by Gerhard Richter, a German visual artist known for abstract paintings. It's beautiful. It's... This beauty of art here is by Jasper Jones, who's an American painter, sculptor, printmaker, who's known for abstract expressionism. Now, if you take your time and zoom in, you can see some numbers in this. If you take your time and look at it. So as we make our way, we're going to see the work of Diego Rivera, who was a prominent, a prominent Mexican painter. Diego Rivera has the longest name of any artist or any person I've ever come across. You know, you can Google that. And this is the rival. Yes, this, this is called the Rivals. All right. Um, his large frescoes helped establish the mural movement in Mexican and international art. The next art that you see is by Maxfield Parrish who was an American painter and an illustrator active in the first half of the 20th century. Yes, uh, he's known for distinctive saturated hues. Neoclassical imagery. Uh, born in July 25, 1870, Philadelphia, died March 1966 in Plainfield, New Hampshire. The nurse artist coming up is uh, Giovanni Antonio Canal, uh, popularly known as Canaletto in the art world, an Italian painter from, the, from Venice. Um, he's known as a painter of city views, you know, of Venice, Rome, London. And he also painted in imaginary views referred to as you know, Carpicci. I hope you are enjoying this collection as I am. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't now we're gonna go see a Picasso this Picasso here right I'm about to show you it's called La Tête Classique La Tête is French for head all right uh, it's going for three mil to five mil that's 
Picasso for you. All right, let's go to the next one. So the next artist is Paul Klee, who was a Swiss-born German artist. Uh, his style was influenced by movements in the art that included Expressionism, Cubism, and Surrealism. This street painting art was by Henri Eugène Augustin Sidana. Um, he's known for paintings of domestic interiors and quiet street scenes, um, contemporary of post-impressionists. All right. I mean, his style contained elements of impressionism, you know, influenced by, you know, Monet, Edward Manet, and the likes. This blue room is dedicated to the works of John Bruegel the Younger, uh, who is the son of John Bruegel the Elder. Um, and his paintings are Baroque paintings. Yeah. Let's enjoy this art. One of a kind. So masterpieces from great artists of their time. This one here is the five senses. Side touch hearing. So this is the end of Paul Allen's visionary collection. Thank you. So as we are increase this, um, I will take this opportunity to Check all the art over here. Mind you, the second floor and third floor are not part of Paul Allen's visionary collection. But um, since we are in this auction house, I think it would be a great opportunity to see all the art over here. I know uh, this art might be going to auction probably in a few weeks' time. So let's take this advantage and see what they have i mean these are beautiful masterpieces very expensive you know this is the rich man's play playland uh, so if we are here we we'll rock shoulders with the big boys and enjoy the art that they they like enjoy the art that they have in their houses enjoy the art that they have in the procession you know it's free for us now so let's enjoy it okay so this is um, by Jesse Crimes. I think I pronounced it right. And this is a nice um, art. Let's see who this is. Kyle Walker. Impressive. Now this is beautiful. This is very nice. Let's get a closer look at it. Pop up. Fortunately, I didn't get a name, but um, let's go to the eye. Must be expensive. Hey, it is in Christie's. So. This is a post war. 
Let's see what this is. The questions being asked all the time are about art is that are these art really worth these outrageous prices? But what you should consider is that, like I said earlier, these masterpieces are investment by the worthy folks. And also demand and supply always affects the price. The higher demand for your art you know the higher the price goes for also these are rare pieces one of a kind most of these art are just one um, they don't produce that many some of these artists are dead a long time ago so the chance of them reproducing this is you know won't happen that's why this art becomes very expensive. To also see how valuable an artist is, you should try and see them in the same light as you see superstars. You see, you know, football players like Messi, Ronaldo, you know, basketball players like LeBron James and the likes, they are on top of their game. These are masters of, of the art. That's why they are valuable. This is a beautiful Italian Bronx sculpture. Oh, look at this magnificent, gorgeous table. Let's look at the details. This is a great piece of art. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Let's see. Our Italian bronze marble, white marble. All right, so we're making our way to the third floor of Christie's. So this is the view of Christie's. Uh, for those of you who haven't been there, this is how the place looks like. Uh, these are some of the art on display to be auctioned. And this is still no this is not part of Paul Allen's collection. That one is done. This is just the top floor of other exhibitions that are being auctioned uh, the week after. Look at this uh, looking lady. Let's see who that is. This is by Moise Kisslin. Uh, she's an impressionist artist. And it's a portrait of Madame the show all right so there we are still admiring these masterpieces on the wall impressive collections all right so i think we are on the floor of like impressionist artists 
and um so i hope you're enjoying this please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel and share also share with your friends so that they, they can also follow my channel I will, I, I will be bringing you more interesting stuff like this so tell a friend to tell a friend and tell a friend thanks for watching So this is uh, impressionist and modern art. Alright, we're still making our way to Paul Delas, especially on the third floor. Uh, looks like these are uh, early works of Picasso. Yes. Yeah, these are early works of Picasso. So, um... Picasso's here. All right. So viewers, looks like we've come to the end of this art exhibition at Christie's. I was glad to be able to bring you this one of a kind art exhibition of Paul Allen's visionary. And also a little tour of Christie's for those who haven't been there and those who would like to go there. Thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is the time to do that. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I will bring you more content. Ciao. Have a nice day. Bye.